Hi, I'm Manu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official do AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time we will walk you through a hands-on lab on creating an administrator IAM user and group, sign in as the new user, create access keys for an IAM user, install and configure the AWS command line interface or the CLI. Estimated cost for doing this hands-on? No charge as creating AWS account users is free. Prerequisite AWS skill level? Beginner with general understanding of AWS IAM concepts. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. To sign up for AWS, open the following link. Follow the online instructions. Part of the sign-up procedure involves receiving a phone call and entering a verification code on the phone keypad. AWS accounts include 12 months of free tier access. To create an AWS account, enter your email address, make a password, confirm that password, and then create an account name, then click continue. Now enter your contact information. For this case, choose a personal account, enter your full name, phone number, country region, address, city, state, postal code, and check the agreement box below. And finally, click create account and continue. You do need to key in your credit card number, even though you get a year of free tier usage. Once you enter your credit card number, click verify and add. And if all goes well, you will receive a confirmation email from AWS indicating that you've successfully created your account. To create an administrator user for yourself and add the user to an administrator's group, use your AWS account email address and password to sign in as the AWS account root user to the IAM console. We strongly recommend that you adhere to the best practice of using the administrator IAM user below and securely lock away the root user credentials. Sign in as a root user only to perform a few account and service management tasks. Enable access to billing data for the IAM admin user that you will create as follows. On the navigation bar, choose your account name and then choose my account. Next to I am user and role access to billing information, choose edit. Select the checkbox to activate I am access and choose update. On the navigation bar, choose services and then I am to return to the I am dashboard. In the navigation pane, choose users and then choose Add User. On the Details page, do the following. For username, type Administrator. Select the checkbox for AWS Management Console access, select Custom Password, and then type your new password in the text box. By default, AWS forces the new user to create a new password when first signing in. You can optionally clear the checkbox next to user must create a new password at next sign in to allow the user to reset their password after they sign in. Choose next permissions. On the permissions page, do the following. Choose add user to group. Choose create group. In the Create Group dialog box, for group name, type Administrators.
Select the checkbox for the Administrator Access Policy. Choose Create Group. Back on the page with a list of groups, select the checkbox for your new group. Choose Refresh if you don't see the new group in the list. Choose Next, Tags. Optionally, on the Tags page, add metadata to the user by attaching tags as key value pairs. Choose Next, Review. Verify the group memberships to be added to the new user. When you're ready to proceed, choose Create User. Optionally, on the complete page, you can download a .csv file with login information for the user or send email with login instructions to the user. Enter the IAM username and password that you just created. When you're signed in, the navigation bar displays your username at your user AWS account ID. If you don't want the URL for your sign-in page to contain your AWS account ID, you can create an account alias. From the IAM dashboard, choose Customize and enter an account alias, such as your company name. To sign in after you create an account alias, to verify the sign-in link for IAM users for your account, open the IAM console and check under IAM users sign-in link on the dashboard. To create access keys for an IAM user, sign in to the AWS Management Console and open the IAM console. In the navigation pane, choose Users. Choose the name of the user whose access keys you want to create, and then choose the Security Credentials tab. In the Access Keys section, choose Create Access Key. To view the new access key pair, choose Show. You will not have access to the secret access key again after this dialog box closes. Your credentials will look something like this, access key ID and secret access key. To download the key pair, choose download.csv file. Store the keys in a secure location. You will not have access to the secret access key again after this dialog box closes. Keep the keys confidential in order to protect your AWS account and never email them. Do not share them outside your organization, even if an inquiry appears to come from AWS or Amazon.com. No one who legitimately represents Amazon will ever ask you for your secret key. After you download the .csv file, choose close. Install or update the AWS CLI version 2 on Windows using the MSI installer. Download the AWS CLI MSI installer for Windows 64-bit at the following link.
To update your current version of AWS CLI version 2 on Windows, download a new installer each time you update to overwrite previous versions. AWS CLI is updated regularly, so check the releases page on GitHub to see when the latest version was released. Run the downloaded MSI installer and follow the on-screen instructions. To confirm the installation, open the Start menu, search for CMD to open a command prompt window, and at the command prompt, use the AWS double dash version command. Quickly configuring the AWS CLI. For general use, the AWS Configure command is the fastest way to set up your AWS CLI installation. The following example shows sample values. Replace them with your own values. When you enter this command, the AWS CLI prompts you for four pieces of information. Access key, secret access key, AWS region, and output format. These are access key and secret access key, the access key ID and secret access key are your AWS credentials. They are associated with an AWS Identity and Access Management user. Region. The default region name identifies the AWS region whose servers you want to send your request to by default. This is typically the reason region closest to you, but it can be any region. For example, you can type US West 2 to use US West or Oregon. This is the region that all later requests are sent to unless you specify otherwise in an individual command. You must specify an AWS region when using the AWS CLI either explicitly or by setting a default region. The region designators are used by the AWS CLI are the same names that you will see in the AWS Management Console URLs and service endpoints. Output Format The default output format specifies how the results are formatted. The value can be any of the values in the following list. If you don't specify an output format, JSON is used as the default. JSON, the output is formatted as a JSON string. YAML, the output is formatted as a YAML string, available in the AWS CLI version 2 only. Text, the output is formatted as multiple lines of tab separated string values. This can be useful to pass the output to a text processor like grep, sed, or awk. Table, the output is formatted as a table using the characters plus bar line minus to form the cell borders. It typically presents the information in a human friendly format that is much easier to read than the others, but not as programmatically useful. You can get help with any command when using the AWS command line interface. To do so, simply type help at the end of a command name. For example, the following command displays help for the general AWS CLI options and the available top-level commands. So AWS help. The following command displays the available Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 specific commands. So AWS EC2 help. The following example displays detailed help 
for the Amazon EC2 describe instances operation. The following example displays detailed help for the Amazon EC2 describe instances operation. The help includes descriptions of its input parameters, available filters, and what is included as output. It also includes examples showing how to type common variations of the command. So AWS EC2 describe instances help. Windows users, you can pipe the output of the help command to the more command to view the help file one page at a time. Press the space bar or page down to view more of the document and queue to quit. So AWS EC2 describe instances help bar line more. The help for each command is divided into six sections. You have the name, description, synopsis, options, examples, and output. Thanks for watching! Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel AWS by Doing and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Leave a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by Doing team.